Guys, today we're going to be talking about Solana. I got a lot of people in chats and comments asking me the same question. You know, recently we hit $200. It was the hottest altcoin. But after this most recent stumble, after this most recent bad publicity of congestion from too many people trading the meme coins, people are in the comment section asking, should we be selling Solana? Well, in this video, we're going to answer that question. I got a little bit of a yes Little bit of a no, watch the entire thing to get my opinion if you so care. With that said, though, this is the Investing Bros. All right, guys, before we get into it, make sure if you are already a subscriber to the channel, smash the like button. Uh, if you're not, you don't have to hit it just yet. You can wait for the rest of the video first, but it does help us in the YouTube algorithm to get more people in here to the channel to see some of this stuff. Uh, again, as I said, we're going to be talking about the question, should you be selling your Solana? I know there's a lot of you probably on the fence right now. There's some people who are probably going to be screaming at the top of their lungs right now. Yes, sell all of your Solana. Get out now. That coin is dead, right? I see that comment frequently on Twitter, in YouTube, not only in just my videos, but other people's as well. But I still think there are some people out there that are holding on who continue to think that Solana has some gains in the long-term future. And I want you guys to know, I'm going to give both the answers yes and no in this video. Some people are going to be frustrated by that, but I'm going to explain based off of who you are as a person and what you want to do, whether you should be thinking your answer should be yes or no. Let's start off by talking about potentially some of the reasons why we should say yes. I'm going to share my screen here for you guys, and there'll be some no's in here as well. I want to start off by just saying, guys, on the daily chart, we're in a little bit of a symmetrical triangle pattern, actually pretty similarly to what we are with Bitcoin. But let's start off by saying yes. Why should you be selling your Solana? Should you be selling your Solana because it topped out at 200 and that was the high for this entire bull market? No, that's not the reason. You potentially though should be selling your solana because of this price because of this price action that we've had since the bottom back down towards eight dollars way back in january of 2023 right we are one of the coins that's probably the closest to setting new all-time highs of established mature coins of course we're talking about a coin that was created way back even before 2020 that's just where we are right now on the binance chart but this coin, see, it's been around the block. It saw the full bull market. It saw the full bear market. It's had its ups and downs. And right now, when you see this type of a chart, I'm looking at this and saying, guys, we probably are going to see some form of a correction or at worst, just not have the same explosion that maybe some other coins have, especially with recent uh, downward publicity. But overall, what I'm looking at here is I'm saying, all right, we had ourselves a nice rally right here of. 600%, right? With only a 35% pullback, right? From right here in December uh, down to the beginning of the end of January, we had a 35% pullback. Then after we did that, I, I would make the argument that wasn't enough. We're still sitting a massive overextended territory here. I'd make the argument after this rally here, when we were down at $79 and we rallied as high as 206, 166, we've only had about a 20% pullback there. I, I think that this is a coin that is doomed at some point or another, for a larger pullback. Let's go back to the history in the last bull market, right? So, you know, you have this price action here in April. We rally have massive gains here to have during a bull market, right? This is September of 2020. If you guys know your timeline of the 2020, 2021, 21 bull market, this was the bull market. But look at that 80% correction right there. And this is during a bull market. Then you come up here and you get a nice good push up above $50. And then we have how big of a pullback? 69%. Would anyone look at this action and say, oh yeah, that's super bearish price action? Of course not. But when you get these massive gains, you also have some steep corrections. Let's take a look at like Ethereum, for example, last bull market. Take a look at the bull market that Ethereum had. Now, I want to start off by saying, technically speaking, the bottom on was in on Ethereum back here in December. Even if you count the COVID date, which I really don't like to count, 
just if you're looking at bear market bottom, December of 2018, look at the pullbacks that we have. We have a pretty significant one here on Ethereum, and I would compare Solana kind of more similar to Ethereum, 67%. Am I going to predict a 67% pullback on Solana, this bull, bull market? No, but I just want you guys to understand what happens. I'm not going to call, count the COVID pullback, but I will take a look right here. Again, this is actually right here. Uh, again, as things really get exciting on Ethereum, we had a 35% pullback. Then you come up here and we had this May. It was close to the top, but ultimately this is still bull market. We had ourselves a 64% pullback on Ethereum. Now, bringing it back over into the world of Solana, why do I think potentially, yes, you should sell it? Not only do I look at this chart, Solana, and say we've had one 35% pullback since all this crazy bullishness started, I believe it's very easy for Solana to do upwards of a 50% pullback. I'm not even going to get much bearish, more bearish than that. I'm just going to say, guys, 50%. Could be reasonable. We're talking about a pullback down towards $100. Let's even say just 40%. I think 40% would be very healthy. Maybe a little bit more than 40%. Come back down to this high we had back in February. And let's have a 42% pullback back down to $120. I think this is something that would be very healthy for Solana long term. And I think it could happen. But this isn't the only reason why I'm saying yes. I'm going to go into detail here. Why, why would I say yes? And this one's not selling Solana back into U.S. dollars. This would actually be saying maybe it's time to move some of your profits into other coins. Now, there's only so many of these charts I can look at, but let's start off with uh, Solana over Bitcoin. Let's take a look at what that chart is doing even just here on the uh, daily chart, right? So we've topped out here. We set a little bit of a higher high, but as a whole, it does look like we have some – bearish action coming we come here and look at our oscillators this is the daily chart recently we have had our bearish divergence we've had the money flow go negative we're under bearish call here on our uh, momentum and the weekly chart is saying the same reversals bearish momentum and negative money flow right you turn on the lux algo indicators we also recently have hit a major order block that was set way back in april of 2022 we hit our take profit we have a smart trail concept blending with some of our uh, another order block way down at 0 0.001 i'm looking at this and saying theoretically speaking i think bitcoin is about to outpace solana but it's not the only one let's take a look at solana over ethereum I, i'm not going to look at this every coin i'm just going to look at a couple of them but we're going to see here uh, what did I just hit? I don't know what I just did, got rid of right there. Let's go to the daily chart again, though. Uh, daily chart right here, we are under a sell order. And if you look at our oscillator, check it out. Excessive buyers in the space, they are leaving very fast. The momentum is negative. We have a reversal coming in. I think this could be a long drop down on this oscillator. We technically have a take profit coming into play very, very soon. But I'm keeping my eye on this order block down here at 0 0.03. I think that Solana is going to start to bleed next to Ethereum here very, very soon. Uh, it's already bleeding a little bit, but I think it's going to uh, speed up. Even when we look at Solana over ADA, we're talking about Cardano here. We just, on the daily chart, printed a sell order. It is so fresh, we haven't even reset the take profit, which was hit along with the red reversal. You're seeing all three signs, reversal indicators, the bearish momentum, and the negative money flow on our Luxago oscillator. We're seeing the MACD scream at us. We're going down. We're seeing the most recent flashes of overbought coming in here. I think that we're going to see Solana bleed against Cardano. Point is, I think you're going to see Solana, after having an amazing bull run up to this point, have a little bit of a cool off period where other coins have better gains than Solana. So that's going to kind of wrap up my thought for the first answer. Yes, potentially you should sell your Solana because I think it's had amazing gains this point, but it's drastically overbought. And realistically, even if it keeps moving to the upside, which it could, I think potentially you're going to see some bigger gains in other coins in the short term future. But now that moves me to my second answer, which is no. Why should you not sell Solana? And this is for the people who plan on holding for much, much longer. Solana is an explosive coin here. And there's not going to be so much we look at here on the charts. I, I, you know, I showed you a lot of bearish short-term indicators, but long-term indicators with the money flow that is coming in, with the positivity that is coming, I'm not even going to have to go too much on the charts. We have price predictions here for Solana still coming up as you know between $1,000 to $1,600. If you can be patient, you still should see uh, upwards of at least 5x to potentially, let's go 1500 you still could see an 8 to 9x there if the price doesn't go any lower. 
Now, I still believe that we could have a little bit of a correction I talked about. Let's just pretend we get my 40% correction back down to 120. Now we're still talking about a 12X on Solana. And this is still going to be a coin that I believe remains in the top five pretty much throughout this entire bull market. The gains are not yet done. Anyone who is saying that Solana is done here at 200, you're kidding yourself. They will get everything back in order, and there's still a lot of money to be made, especially if we get that healthy correction that we talked about during the yes, you should sell it phase. Uh, on the yes side for the short term, you know, let's just say you want to stick with it. This is still a very bullish formation going here. There's an aggressive call you could make here that says that Solana, if we break to the upside of this symmetrical triangle pattern and call this a bull pennant, this could send the price of Solana as high as $351. If, if you know, Solana's a coin that's done crazier things than rally uh, more about a, almost a 2x in a couple of weeks. That's what it, exactly what it did from February till about March. Uh, so in about one month, it rallied more than 2x here. I think that's something that, theoretically speaking, could happen again. Uh, let's see a little bit more negative, though, or sorry, more uh, conservative, if we're going to call it. We still see if we get a bullish breakout here on Solana, we still could see the price action if we move this up to the breakout spot go as high as 260, right? So there still are some positive signs. If you believe in Solana long, long, long term, I'm going to tell you, no, you should not sell it thinking that Solana's bullish price action is done. We've got a long way to the upside to go for Solana. The only reason your answer should be yes is if your thoughts are, man, I've made a lot of money with Solana and I can make some more money by moving my profits into something else in that case, I will agree with you. I think there are other coins out there with bigger gains than Solana in play. They're all going to be bullish. We have just begun to scratch the surface of this actual bull market, even if there's a correction coming our way. But let me know in the comments down below, do you agree? Do you disagree? If you are moving your tokens from Solana or your profits from Solana into another coin, what are you guys looking to get into more of? Leave those down below. Now, all of you who found us for the first time, go ahead and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and you learned something. And consider hitting subscribe to, to be a part of one of the fastest growing channels here in crypto. where We cover everything you need to know. We look at the charts, we look at the news, and we talk about the sentiment so that you can intake the information and make the best investing decision you can make for yourself. That's what we're all about here. If you are on board with that, hit subscribe. With that said, though, that's all I got for you guys in this video. I'll see you in the next one.